Hi guys, Squirrel here, I'm back with another trucking video. I thought I'd jump back into the F-16, I like this truck so much. Hope you enjoyed my uh, mod review I did recently. We are in the Southern Region map in ETS-2. If you're not aware of what the Southern Region map is, let me quickly bring up the map. Uh, and I can zoom out and I can just show you where it is. It's basically this bit over here. So this map is designed to work and connect with uh, Pro Mods and Rust Map. So Rust Map would normally go like here. I don't have it installed at the moment. But even so, you can still connect in like this. Uh, it connects right down to, uh, is it Constantinople, somewhere like that? It connects in with a ferry route, so you can get in that way. Um, but if you have the Rust Map installed, you can just drive up to it. I'm not bothered. I didn't bother to, I didn't come here to do that. What I wanted to show you was uh, this bit here. Um, the zoom has got a bit of a problem. There we go. So this road here is a very interesting forestry route. And that's where we are right now. We are at a collection point. If you look at the mini-map, you can see the collection point's just like off the road um, on this crazy, crazy road that it's in. And I thought what I'd do is we're just going to pick up one of these trailers and we can see if we can drive our way down these crazy roads just for a barrel of laughs because we can. As you can see, the chopping down logs. I don't really know why the trailer's full of tractors and things like that, but I would have expected just log trailers, but whatever. Let's start it up and see what we can pick up. As usual, as in the UK, people just standing around, swinging their hips, doing no work, let one guy do it all. They're probably supervisors. <laughs> right, let's jump into here, freight market, and, uh, oh, we've got a cog. Let's see if we can change the, ooh, okay. Oh, we can change it for plow vehicles, three tractors. They're quite modern for Russia, aren't they? Let's, let's go something like that. That might work with our paint skin as well. Yeah, let's take that. It's only 100k, but uh, it's going to be 100 crayon, kind of off off the uh, the beaten path, as it were. I think we'll just reverse into the... Right, boys, time to move out the way. Let's see if we can just reverse straight in without wiping these guys out. I don't think they're going to move. Uh, apologies if I sound a little bit nasally on my videos recently. It's because I've been getting absolutely battered by hay fever. Uh, if you're fortunate enough not to have hay fever, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you do suffer from hay fever, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And this year has probably been one of the worst that I can remember for many years. Uh, so it's given me all kinds of problems. Effectively, it feels like I've got a really bad cold, along with itchy throat and itchy eyes. It's absolutely horrendous. Anyway, that's why I do sound a little bit uh, nasally. Right, let's see. Let's get the side lights on. And uh, are we going left out of here? Yes, we are. How heavy is this trailer? I forgot to look. 11 tons, okay. We've got the 465 brake, so we shouldn't have a problem in terms of power. Now, if you turn right, that goes down to a crazy split road. Uh, I'm not really sure what what is left. Yeah, you can see how it goes all like dirt tracky and stuff. But it should still be fun. I know it's quite hilly that way as well, so we'll see. I think the important thing here is to just not go too quickly and just maintain a decent momentum. Because it can get a little bit bumpy and hilly in places. And also, if I remember the last time I came down this road, occasionally you'll have the odd chunky rock. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Uh... I think I'm going to go left. You'll occasionally have the odd chunky rock, which if you cut the bend too much, it will take out your um, your trail as you go past. You could probably go through that, but I don't know why you'd want to. Maybe without a trailer I'd go through that, but... Could be fun. If this had the physics of spin tires, imagine how much fun this could be. Imagine what we could do if we had the physics of spin tires in this game. And even if they didn't have like full terrain deformation, even something approaching what spin tires does, I wonder where that goes. Would be uh, pretty cool. Looks like we've picked the slightly easier route because I think going the other way it gets a lot, lot harder. Oh my god. He says, as he almost collapses on a bridge. 
I like map mods like this. I like it where they do something completely different and off the wall, you know? Set in, like, Russian forests. It's just completely crazy. But it sure beats, you know, just going down the highway. Going from city to city. I like this stuff. You can, of course, get yourself a, uh, a Kamaz truck or something like that if you wanted to have a bit more authenticity. Okay, engage the retarder down here. That is pretty steep. I'm not even touching the brake pedal. Just using the retarder to slow us down. That's cool. Of course, if I had a heavier trailer, I don't think we'd uh, arrest the braking force down there with just the retarder. Wait, I'm loving this. This is so much fun. Look at this! What the heck? Wow. That looks like straight out of spin tires, doesn't it? Like the refueling truck in spin tires. That is brilliant, that is. I think it's got some really weird refueling points as well, this one. You occasionally find like the like a couple of couple of guys with uh, some vehicles and that'll be a refueling point. Okay, this looks like fun. I'm not sure how bumpy this is going to get. Crikey. As long as we keep the drive wheels on the surface, we'll be good. <laughs> now, it is tempting to just, you know, barrel your way through here, but... I kind of wish that, um... I kind of wish the game supported fragility of trailers a bit, you know? There are other games that I've played where if you... If I was to go down here with a trailer that was fragile and I really, you know, went a bit too quickly, just the, the, the jostling forces of the terrain would cause damage to the trailer, which I don't think is simulated in, uh, in Eurotruck. It just tends to be impacts, like if it gets... If it hits something hard, it's like a lamppost or a wall or, or a vehicle drives into it, then it does damage. But if you just kind of go over terrain, I don't think it causes any damage. And it'd be kind of cool to be able to bring a, a trailer full of glass or something just through this thing. Now this is... This is like something out of Scania truck driving sim. Look at this. That suspension getting a good old workout. Uh, if you want to try this map, by the way, the southern region map, it is in my mod spreadsheet, mods.squirrel.tv. You'll see it in there. Uh, it has been updated for 1.31, as has pro mods. Um, it's, you, you'll find it's a link straight to the SCS forum page, where the, there are very detailed instructions. There's, there's multiple downloads, not just the parts of the map, but downloads for whatever you're trying to do. Like if you're trying to connect it to Pro mods, or you're trying to connect it to Rust Map, or you're trying to connect it to MHA Pro. Um, there are different downloads, and take the time and read through the page, is what I'm trying to say, because uh, it has the full load order as well. It will give you a link to the full load order, and you need to get that right. Just a word of warning, because it's not a it's not a simple page. This thing supports a lot of other maps, but it's well worth it. It's really good fun be a lot different to what you normally drive. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. If the weather was like, I don't know, if you could make it like an, like an October kind of, you know, cold, misty, just coming through here with the lights beaming through the mist and the fog. Oh man, that could be so much fun. I'd really feel like Russia then, wouldn't it? But even if it was snowy, it could be quite cool. Okay, looks like we're on a bit of a zigzag climb at the moment. I really don't want to go that way. I'll just make sure my revs are in the green. Keep the pulling power going. But I have no idea how far it is to the end of this thing. It might be 100k's all the way through this road for all I know. At some point they do link back onto the main road, but I just cannot remember where that happens. Oh, give way, this could be it. Maybe this is the tarmac. 
Yes, it is. Okay, that was fun. Yeah, if you go the other way, it has a... Um, I think the road forks as well. There's actually two different routes you can do. Well, even this road's not that great. So uh, I won't drive down there. You can uh, explore that at your peril. Look how bumpy this is. Bit retarded going a little bit here. So we have 56 k's left. So that was basically about 50 kilometers through dirt track. That's quite a distance. I wonder if this map supports random events. I was just thinking, is that static item or was that a random event? These are disgusting roads, oh my god. This is so bumpy. You can see why uh, the Russians have to build their trucks and stuff quite so solid, because they have to be able to cope with the not exactly smooth Russian roads. Right, where's this then? I have no idea what that says. <laughs> you must learn to think in the Russian. He's going left. Oh, tarmac, look at that. Okay. Cool. Should be plain sailing now. I do love the way this truck drives. This really is one of my favourite trucks right now to drive. I could see myself putting a lot of miles on the clock with this thing. If you've ever played your truck and then got yourself a wheel, you know what kind of serious upgrade that is to your experience and then if you ever manage to get something with a manual shifter and then make the transition from automatic to to manual switching <coughs> excuse me you will um, when you drive this truck you will have nothing but pleasure it's such fun with manual shifting in a wheel a customer expects delivery okay so that's because the job engine doesn't allow enough time for me to get there based on the off-roading I had to do so I think it's almost inevitable that we're going to be late dropping this thing off. Not that it really matters. I wonder if... I don't know the answer to this one because I'm not a map modder, but I wonder if there's a way that the map modder can add like a weighting to each road to say how, how difficult it is to cross. So, for example, say a straight piece of tarmac like this, that has a 70k limit. The game can look at this and say, well, if you were travelling down there at sort of an average of 60, you should be able to get to the other side in about this much time. Therefore, any job that goes down this road, I can work out how quickly or how much time it should take for you to get there. But for like that road back there that is dirt track off-road, you know, the speed limit might be 50k, and the game's going to say, well, I'm going to assume you're going to travel it at 45k. But you're not, because it's such a horrible terrain that you're going to end up doing more like 30. I wonder if, the, if there's a way a map author can specify that, so that when the job engine calculates something... I think that ans answers a question about random events. So that when the job engine calculates something, um, it can take that into account. Because every time I drive these kind of weird... It happens in Iceland as well, like when you go in pro mods, when you go over the top of the middle section of Iceland, and it's all hilly and icy and horrible, and it takes you quite a while sometimes to get over there, you'll end up being late, because the job engine just miscalculates or just doesn't allow time for you to get there. And I just wondered if the... maybe you guys know, if you do, let me know. I just wondered. Oh, I need to get down with these crazy speed limits, I keep going too quickly. It's only 70 down here, and it kind of feels like it should be 90. I love this, all like Russian... Uh, all the Russian signs and the Russian style of buildings. Also, there's a... Um, if you do download this map, there's one of the 
the mods files that you can download has English translations for cities. So you might want to get that one if you're English. Otherwise, you really will have to learn to think in Russian. It just means when you look at the map like this, it's actually, you know, you've got a chance of being able to write it, because I don't have a Solate keyboard. I'm pretty certain most of you won't either. So make sure you get that one. Oh, we're going this way. Now, this is another thing I like about the Rus Russian map mods and the uh, southern regions. They always have these kind of really weird drop-off points. Like down the back of, you know, some yard. It's down somebody's back garden, you know, behind some buildings. Everything's laid out in the way, you know. People have parked the cars and just dumped things. They always make it fun and interesting on the drop-offs. And I do like that. Uh, there's even a mechanic there, look. Look at that thing. Oh, look, that's a mechanic. <laughs> Compare that to, like, an SCS mechanic. <laughs> it's just completely worlds apart. I love it. What is this town called? Zugba. Zugba? Zugga? Is that how we say it? Zugga. I'm going to assume the D is silent. Hi, right, Jeff. Sorry, Jeffski. Ooh, look at that boat. That could be fun. Alrighty then. Let's have a look at the layout here. Uh, right. Well, we can't really go down there and turn around, so... We possibly could, but it's a bit awkward. Let's do this. That's trailer's got steering axle on the back there. This is not as straightforward as it looks. There we go. Get this side lined up first. It's still very difficult to judge depth out of this mirror. You're basically looking at a wide angle view. Sorry, I'm punching the microphone. A wide angle view 2D screen, and you just cannot jump judge depth very easily. Luckily the steering axle is making this a lot easier. Okay. And then we can do that. Seems like a weird drop off point for a bunch of tractors with plow attachments but hey what the customer wanted. Who am I to argue? Okay. Not bad, not bad. That was a fun little drive across the dirt. 103 k's driven. What did we get? 5 grand, 213 XP, 18.5 level. Almost. Not quite. Almost. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that fun little drive. Uh, if you want the southern region map, remember, just go to mods.school.tv or use the link in the video description and uh, you'll see a link to the southern region map. Just make sure you look through the page for the details, but I think you'll find it's a great, great amount of fun uh, if you try it. And also, don't forget to try it with this truck because it's a lovely truck. That's it from me. Take care, guys. Happy trucking. <laughs>